Okay guys, so I really wanted to show you how to do this with stuff that you can get. I know most of my viewers are in the States, so I decided to order some nails from eBay and I got the KISS um, Salon Gel French and these are the medium ones. I really wanted to get the longer ones, but I thought that this was a classic look and it might be a lot more appealing to the everyday woman. So I already have all of my sizes and everything so I just wanted to show you the packaging of the nails that I'm going to be using. And as usual I'm going to be using the Tammy Taylor products. I'm using her nail liquid extra adhesion and her pink powder. So this is the, this is the acrylic that I am going to be using. Okay, now I already have one nail prepped, one hand prepped, I should say, and I'm going to show you how I do the other hand. It's really, really simple. What I do is I take my little cuticle pusher and I start to push back on all of the cuticles on each finger very lightly. You don't have to go overboard with this. You just want to remove any of the extra skin from off of your nails so the nails would adhere better. And I know the table is shaking and I have my camera on the table so I am so sorry about that but still you'll be able to get the point of what I am doing. I don't have much skin on my nails. I don't have much cuticle like overgrowth or anything like that because I do this so often. But I just wanted to show you what I do for whenever I am getting ready to do an, a first set. Now after I remove whatever is on my cuticles, I like to just go in and clip the free edge of my nail. There's no need for it. And then I use a 180 file and I just smooth out those free edges. And I tend to normally just go in one direction. And the next thing I like to do is just lightly buff the top of the nail just to remove any of the shine so the acrylic and the nail would adhere a lot better. And I don't do this rough or anything like that. As you can tell, I'm going in very, very lightly. I'm just removing the shine. But it, like I said, if you want these nails to really last a lot longer, you might want to go in with a 100 grit file and that will really rough up the nail bed and that would really make these nails stay on a lot longer. But because I normally do this for like two weeks, you know, two weeks is good enough for me. I like to change my nails, so that's all I'm doing. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hands and come right back and we're gonna start the application. Okay, so I went ahead and I did one hand off camera. So I'm gonna show you how I did the other hand. It's really, really easy and super, super quick. And now I'm taking the Tammy Taylor No Lift Primer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself one nice coat of this. Now with this monomer, this, it says that you don't have to use the primer because there's like a built-in primer in it, but I like to double up, you know, which on her website it also talks about that as well. You can definitely double up if you want to. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dip my brush into the monomer and I'm gonna get a lot of the liquid on it. I'm not gonna squeeze it out as much because this is a sheer nail bed. I am definitely going to be applying this super, super wet so it spreads a lot easier. Getting a big ball to make sure that when I squeeze the nail that it oozes out everywhere and then it, that it gets all over the nail bed, you know, so I'm just gonna press it down. And when I move my hand, you're gonna see that a lot of it has oozed out, but I'm just gonna keep pushing. I'm not gonna worry about the oozed out part yet because this takes some time to dry. It also depends on how cool your room is. And right now I turned off the AC so it's not that cold because the colder it is, like the quicker the acrylic sets. So, and that's about all you need. I'm gonna keep holding it down. <laughs> I know this is weird, but it works and you can see it just comes right off. You know, so I'm going to do the other side and tell how nice and clean that is. And then I'm going to flip the nail over and just scrape it out. And that's nice and clean and we're good to go, good to move on. Okay. So once again, I'm just going to dip my brush in. I'm going to get it nice and wet. I'm not going to you know, take out much of the excess liquid. I'm gonna dip it in because I want my ball to be very, very wet and liquidy 
so that when I squeeze it, it spreads nice and evenly. So the next thing you want to do with these nails, now this set actually comes with a nail file but I'm going to be using my 180 file because I think I don't need a lot and I'm just going to file the edge of this because it does have a little stub right there of plastic that comes with the nails so you definitely don't want that. You want your nails to be looking nice and you know flawless. Okay, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done some French nails, I must say. And the nails definitely fit from side to side really nicely. So yeah, this is a super quick, easy tutorial. And I really just wanted to show you guys that you can use the ready-made one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, take care of yourselves. I love you and bye-bye.